local community who've really backed it since we came up with the idea last year. Um, so I'll say a big thank you to them. Um, the local police have helped marshal the course today and been really supportive in the build-up. Um, and also even the local church who supplied us with tables and gazebos. Uh, big thank you to the Kyle's Marketing Group, uh, which is formed of a load of local businesses. Um, we've helped us prepare the lace and put on uh, some great food today. Um, I'd also like to thank Glasgow Triathlon Club and all the members that are here. They've given up their time to come and get a suntan and spend the day pretending to marshal it. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, and also to all our marshals, our members of Glasgow Triathlon Club and you came along and done a great job as well. Um, big thank you to Peter Bannertine who supplied us with uh, a lot of the watercrafts today, some old school kayaks um, and uh, made sure everybody was safe on the water. Uh, and also Dougie McNaughton who I think is still actually out on the water. Well, uh, he's made it, he's made it in uh, and he was in charge of the safety boats and coordinating the whole swim and also helped us in the build up map out the course and stuff so thanks a lot Dougie. Uh, and Dave Fowler as well. A yeah. uh, few particular people as well that have helped in the build up from the club. Uh, Craig Napier, who's worked tirelessly the last couple of days to put everything together. Um, and also Michael Kinsella, who raced the day after a, a pretty late finish. I think it was 4 o'clock we finished yesterday morning or the morning before, uh, getting everything up here, which was a bit of a mission from Dundee via Stirling, Motherwell, Glasgow to Tinnebrook. So yeah, thanks to both of you for all the kind of extra effort you put in. Thanks also to Stuart Perry, who uh, was doing the bagpipes for us and gave us a real flavour of Scotland. And finally to the St Andrews First Aiders who were here um, attending to only a few jealous things which were pleasantly surprised by because we thought there would be a more. Uh, so we're going to move on to the prizes now. Um, there's just prizes for our first, second and third male, first, second and third female. Uh, going to start with the females. Uh, in third place was Kirsten Ness from Edinburgh Tri Club. I meant to say presenting the prizes to the females uh, from Duncan's is Kirsty. Second prize goes to Emma Lamont from Fusion Tri Club. Yeah. And first prize to Kerry McPhee from Transcarlo. for males is Fiona from the Tinnebrook Sailing School. Third place male was Andrew Brearley from East Fife Tri Club. Second place was Crawford White from Fusion. First place was Graham Leach from Fusion as well. Okay, so that's us. Thank you all very much for coming and making the event such a success. Uh, and just to let you know that the other organiser, Robert Hamilton's wife, gave birth this morning to a baby son called Ethan. Uh, we've asked him to name middle name Tim Brewer, so we'll see if he does that or not. Uh, I'm just going to pass over now to Bruce from Edinburgh Road Club, who's going to just mention a bit about an event that's on in Portobello later this year. So thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Ewan. It's just a quick plug for an, uh, a club event which is taking place on the 13th of August. Some of you might know of it. 
um, but others might not. It's a second year of the Edinburgh Swim Festival. If you like open water swimming and you've enjoyed what you did today, we've got three races on at Portobello on the 13th of August. It's 15 pounds, it's a whole day of swimming, and in the evening it's followed by Cayley, and all that's included in the price. However, Edinburgh World Club are going to put the price up, I believe, next week. So if you're interested in doing it and getting 15 quid, you can look on Entry Central. Hopefully see you there. Thanks. Uh, one last thing, Colin, as well, I don't want to push my luck, but there's also going to be a 10-mile running race up here on the 10th of September, run by the Kyle's Marketing Group, who have been quite involved today. Um, it's a really good race, and it follows the loop that you would have cycled round. Uh, so if you get a chance, sign up for that. Um, surely, Kyle's 10 miles, it's called. So that's it. Thanks a lot. <laughs>